Hey drummers, Gary Williams is back again for another reaction and analysis video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the great Chris Coleman. Many of you have requested that I cover this guy. So I pulled up a video here that I think sounds cool and we're going to check it out. Three against two poly with the feet. Love that. Dig it dun dun dig it dun dun. Four is up, six is up, one down, two down, three up, one down. Toms are so flat. Buzz roll, traditional grip, right hand, middle finger, fulcrum. Ah, oh, 
probably my favorite part. What a great way to end. The guy's got a sense of humor. Love it. Ah, that was just fantastic. Oh, got a nice little adrenaline rush from that. Some really cool musical stuff. Because the guy's a powerhouse, clearly, with just ferocious chops and speed. Very clean singles, obviously. <laughs> but some of the cool little effects that he did. You know, I was kind of explaining a little bit of things in the middle here. And I mean, I'm kind of going, wow, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Because he did all these kind of hand foot patterns with cool orchestrations. Like he did like in a really fast triplet 16 year triplet thing was like left right but actually it was more of kind of a sort of a gad influence steve gad stuff but some nice stuff going on between the dun 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 but his hands are just really moving a lot of six eight theme this seems to be the theme today of the reaction videos i've done and it's something i like to explore when i do my kind of extendo drum solos i always spend some time in the afro-cuban realm doing some foot ostinatos and stuff like that and so yes i know some of you've said do a reaction on one of your solos so i'm going to sooner than later i'm just focusing on the drummers that influence me and ones that i like and ones that you're interested in hearing because uh, you're bringing out some good ideas for me so really cool stuff this is one of these kind of solos that would be fun just to watch again love the writing on the splash toward the end that's something i heard peter erskine do on a recording years ago and i thought it was just so hip guys actually using that as kind of a ride symbol very small it's kind of a almost a gated sound but not you know so because splashes just dissipate so fast it's kind of neat how they get out of the way but some really nice stuff. I didn't pause the video too much. I just kind of rattle off some stuff as we're going through. Again, this is stuff that I can share with you. If you are interested in lessons, I've been doing this for years where students would come in and say, I want to understand how to play this. And it used to be with DVD packages with these great drummers. And then um, most of which I had seen at the point in time where my students would bring in stuff and we would break it apart. So usually I would watch it, kind of demystify what was going on, write it out, sit down and play it a little bit and then demonstrate how to build that kind of idea. So for most of the drummers that I do reaction videos to, I can help you figure out how to play what they're playing because I understand most of it to be quite honest with you. So this is why I like doing this. It's because something I'm very comfortable doing. I like the challenge of seeing if I can do, you know, a play by play and hear what's going on. Sometimes I get it a little better than others. But again, this is my first time watching these videos. So give me some time to watch them a few times. If I was to slow them down, I could definitely pick out everything these guys are doing with some speed adjustment. So sharing this with you because some of you out there would probably like to know how to play like these guys and I can help. I get that. So contact me. I got some information in my text box below and we can go over any of these kind of drummers and really try to figure out what the heck they're doing because that's something I enjoy doing. I learn from it and then I can pass on what I know to you because this is why you're here is to try to figure out how to do some of the things that these great drummers are doing and hopefully I'm able to help. So get a hold of me and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and all the information about instruction is in the text box below. So check that out and I'll see you on the next reaction and analysis video. Until then, have a great day.